Hi, I'm Peter Robert. I'm here today to discuss some of the different methods to add, learn, or program a remote keyless entry system transmitter to your vehicle. The remote keyless entry transmitter could also be known as an RKE transmitter, remote key, transmitter, key fob, or fob. I'll use the term transmitter today to prevent any confusion. Due to the large number of replacement transmitters available, you should always locate the correct procedure for the transmitter and vehicle you're working on. There are a number of procedures available and if you're not using the correct one, you could potentially have a vehicle that does not start after trying to program a new transmitter. There may also be different procedures if you're just adding versus replacing a transmitter. Depending on the vehicle, the procedure may be found in the owner's manual, in the remote keyless entry system operation section, and in the service manual under remote functions. In either case, if you're using an electronic version, a keyword search for transmitter will start you off in the right direction. Keep in mind that only RKE transmitters programmed to the vehicle will work. In most cases, when the replacement transmitter is programmed to the vehicle, all remaining transmitters must also be programmed. All lost, stolen, or existing transmitters not programmed to the vehicle when the new transmitter is programmed may no longer work. Let's get started by taking a look at a 2011 Cadillac STS in the Electronic Owner's Manual. I'll start with the keyword search for transmitter. As you can see, there are a lot of options available. I'll scroll down to the Keys section and select the Keyless Access System Operation section. This section of the owner's manual describes the operation of the transmitter and gives the customer the option to add a new transmitter to the vehicle. Towards the bottom of this section are Programming with a Recognized Transmitter and Programming without a Recognized Transmitter. Selecting Programming with a Recognized Transmitter allows you to program a new transmitter to the vehicle when there is a recognized transmitter. This is a relatively easy process. Programming without a recognized transmitter can take 30 minutes or more to complete and is a relatively complex process. These are the methods available for the customer to add a transmitter. Transmitters can also be added by the repair facility using either the same method the customer used or by using a J2534 compliant scan tool with GM protocols implemented. We have already built a 2011 Cadillac STS in the electronic service information, so I'll go to the home screen and select the service manual. Using the search function, I'll search for transmitter. Scroll down to the remote functions and select remote control door lock and theft deterrent transmitter programming, North America, except Canada. Here, there are three methods for programming transmitters. Method one is adding, replacing, or invalidating key fobs with a new RCDLR or known key fob available. This method allows you to add a transmitter if you have a known transmitter to the next slot available or using the scan tool, add a transmitter to any slot or invalidate all fobs. Method two is erasing, adding key fobs with no known fob available. This procedure will first erase all known key fobs. It will then program a single key fob or multiple key fobs with a series of three 10 minute key cycles for a total of up to 30 minutes. This procedure requires that you have a replacement key fob and the vehicle's mechanical key. Method three is service programming system fob programming. This is a 10 minute relearn procedure using the service programming system. Once the 10 minute timer has expired, the fobs can be programmed to particular positions or all known fobs can be erased. A scan tool and a replacement key fob are required for this procedure. As you can see, procedures one and two are similar to the owner's manual. Procedure three using the service programming system and a scan tool is a shorter process. The service manual procedure is also available in Pro Demand by Mitchell. The owner's manual information is not. The number of procedures can be as large as the number of fobs available, so remember to always locate the correct procedure for the transmitter and vehicle you're working on. Thanks for watching.